Right, so it's the 1st of October 2024 and the Creator God has been a malice bastard to me all fucking day. So, um, just get past here. Let's just hope it doesn't fucking rain because that's the next fucking curse the bastard's gonna fucking twist on me. So the fucking ice bastard, Jesus Christ, twisted fucking hellbent cruel, hell bent cruelty cunt. I've not even got into the story yet of today's problems. Is uh, setting up a vehicles at the catalytic converter hot point. So there's a started car at catalytic converter hot point. With all these fucking problems. But there's nothing I can do about it because the creator is fucked up. The creator god is just a malice bastard. A sexual slaughter fucking tear away. I need to get past this bastard, I don't know. Right, so got to be choked out by the catalytic converter. And down here, yeah, Christ. Put it down here, Christ. You're a fucking corrupt bastard. You're a fucking cruelty, Christ. You're an absolute fucking satanic fucking bastard. You're fucking evil, Christ. It's simple as that, you cunt. You're just absolutely fucking malice, you cold as ice bastard. Well, obviously, the photo I took today cost me four pound on the bus because I've lost my bus pass, as you already know. Well, I took photo out of photo, struggling because the sexual sunny weather was out, and they were packing the traffic as heavy as they could fucking possibly pack it. When I tried taking a picture, and when it get, when I took it back, uh, when, uh, sorry, when I got back. I realised that the photo I'd taken previously was in better condition. But I use that picture to describe the sun curse by chopping the picture and it's too late to rescue that fucking picture. Otherwise that one would have been better than the one I took in, of the picture I took today after deleting them all off. Right, so my penis shoots up nine times loud bike when I get back home. I wouldn't say it's been extremely bad for setups, but it has been in, it's been there, it's not been good. But anyway, let's get back to now, yeah? So loud bikes to erections, as I mentioned. Breaking banged, molested Sadie, HIV banged, child rapist, everybody body knows said. Tingling bell end, so loud bike. More penis to erections. Gunshots at 728 pm. Grace just said. Gunshot mongrel said. Um, s s um, stuff gone said. We can always go into uh, Bomb Hinkley Point Power Station graffiti, Christ, if you want absolutely really, really, really want to fucking tear him but the fucking to me, to the fucking floor, you bastard, you sexual slaughter fucking tear away. Uh, a motorbike to next direction, having a fucking break in, just, willy up, next motorbike, you're a paedophile, just, uh, revved, uh, sorry, by motorbike, being robbed, just, everything gone, said. Right, next page, negative, Justin, revved, being injected with uh, HIV, fallen and mongrel, having a bra break in, said. Gunshot sound, sick, cunt, mongrel being busted, said. Grey car, knife shaped canoe, this is time walking out now. Grey car with a long knife shaped canoe or something on the car that looks like a fucking knife shaped object, because obviously God wants to smash me to fucking death because God's a fucking cruelty cunt. Right, next knife, uh, no sorry, white car, penis up motorbike, hundreds of, ca about a hundred cars, well, a few more than that maybe. 100% uh, to action. So every car is in a black and blue fucking sick knife shape, gun shape, whatever. But less suggestive than that canoe. Uh, so penis shoots up, bicycle angled at me, and then a scooter angled at me because the creator got a fucking twisted buckled bastard. Choked by catalytic converter, a cell call at me, two more, drain cover fucking smashed over, like a fucking hitting a fucking ball against a fucking drain cover because obviously the creator god's fucking absolutely nasty telling me my fucking life's down the drain sexual slaughter cunt choked by catalyst drain 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 fucking hit over colliding on the bridge um a car timed on the um track the farm track there's only about two houses there but timed on that track i think it's time there yesterday as well because obviously god's uh, fallen um and that takes you to where i am now i've mentioned the catalytic converter set up Right, I better mention what I've got to do tomorrow. I've got to waste another four pounds on the bus. And the reason I've got to waste four pounds on the bus is quite simply the picture I took today hasn't come out. And I've had to redo it again today because it didn't come out initially. But I've just found out that the pictures that I took the other day don't, didn't come out either. So it means I've got to go back in that on that route, which is the Montacute Road route, to take the pictures there because the black magic's fucking stopped me getting them. I don't know what it is, the Creator God's stopping me get pictures. There's always been times where I've taken pictures and most of them come out. There's been times where I've had to redo it. 
but not like it is not in the, like in the last three years. Nowadays, it's literally every picture you take, you gotta go and redo it because it's not coming up. I don't know whether it's a camera or it's a curse or what. Black magic? I don't fucking know, but I used to be able to take pictures using the same camera I use today, and I could get that picture straight away in one in one snap. So I don't know what's causing it. I don't know what's fucking causing it. But now I've got to keep returning and returning and returning to try and better the picture, and I can be at a place for one hour trying to take one picture. I don't know what the cause is, because I'm using exactly the same model camera, but the four pound I wasted today, I've got to waste another four pound to go there tomorrow to take the picture again, presumably if it's uh, cloudy. Obviously today was mostly sunny, but there was a cloudy spell where I took the picture, and uh, it's not come out. So it just shows how fucking cruel the creator god is, cursing me all the fucking time. And my bank account's the lowest it's been in many, many years as well. I'm not sure how many years, because I can't remember, but that's another problem. I don't get the money I used to either. They dropped it. So, um, I mean, I can still buy alcohol, can still buy things, and live, but it's a lot less than what it used to be. Well, so we've got red, sick, grey, fucking sexual, black and fucking blue times. Oh, lots coming out there. Anyway, this road, on the tr on the corner, there was a car, not on the corner, but on the narrowest part. Um, there was Somerset Ways partnership passed me the other day. You're fucking gone or fucking dead, said. Um, but, um, yeah, I had to go into the side, into the hedge for him to get past, and he was brushing against me. That's how narrow that road is. Where these fucking churches are cursed on me, and with black magic and the dark arts from the creator god, being I'm an absolute malicious bastard. Um, the reason I'm actually going for a walk this evening is actually to cool down, because I'm actually on the end of my tether, because, quite literally, no matter what I do, no matter what pictures I take, what I do in the day, it keeps on coming out, out of focus, and the, the problem is I'm wasting money, I'm being treated like a piece of shit, I'm being sneezed at, I've got setups in my direction, I'm getting threats, I'm being photographed to be murdered, to be fucking bashed to pieces, you know, smashed in. But there's nothing you can do about it, the Creator God wants that. This is why I might have to sell my soul to Lucifer. I mean, quite simply, if God's gonna fucking use his creation like a piece of shit against me, then you gotta fucking consider who God really is, because this is getting fucking nastier and nastier. If God help, God helps these Christians, yeah? But what's the, what's the bet that he's going to slyly put every bastard in hell after death? It, it, it just, it's conspiratist. You, you know, the creator God is absolutely nasty. There's no two ways about it. The creator's turned against me. Let's look at me when I was a child. All these incidents that occurred to me as a child. Like, um, Jesus raping the guts in and out of me as a child. And seagulls going, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. You know, when I was a very young boy. And then obviously, later in life, it was, I don't know what age it was, but maybe, maybe that was a bit before, I can't remember. I was on the, one of the beaches with my uncle Rob, and a seagull went underneath me and my uncle Rob, and did a nasty vicious hit and said, bastard. So you can see, the creator's fallen. I mean, I gave it a try. I got, went to church, right, for th four years. Well, on and off for the last year, because of all the fucking problems that are occurring. So, started just before I moved. And believe it or not, it was around the time I started going to church that all the fucking problems started to increase. The whole fucking lot, my life just got fucking nastier and nastier since I got into church, went to church. People were threatening to kill me. You had up to 200 people, that was rare, but you did have up to 100, uh, 200 people a day photograph me and giving me threats. And that amount of people sneezing in my face as well, especially 2022. There was at least 40 almost every single day of 2022. That's threats, and there's almost, almost, well, at least 40 per day for people photographing me as well. And then it's the same for people sneezing in my face. So you can see why the creator's turned. When you're in the church, allow bite time to interaction and see you go, ha 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 ha, when you're trying to pray to God or when you're singing to God or whatever. It does make you wonder, it really does make you wonder whether the creator's actually fucking fallen and has staked me, you know, disguising it for certain people, turned against certain people, sneakily, and try and rip them to fucking pieces. The Creator God's not to be trusted. This is my opinion. You've got to be very careful when you're dealing with a, the rule of man, because to me it appears that the rule of man just wants people destroyed. Then I sort of think back on the creation, why do we accidentally step on insects? Why do snakes go around uh, paralysing other animals and then squeezing them to death? And, 
why do crocodiles bite heads off of babies and kill them and, you know, and eat their fucking flesh or whatever? Why do underwater creatures urinate and defecate in the same water they eat and drink out of? If nothing exists, if there's no creation, then there would be no problem at all. There'd be no... This is the problem. I don't know who the creator God is or what, I, you know. The government know more than what we do. Everyone would be dubbed into the Bible and they would believe that Jesus' work or the Creator's work is all, all good work. But you've got to consider that these sorts of things are happening to you all the time. You've got to reconsider who God is. You can tell all the people that are on the Creator God side because obviously this is the reason I haven't had sex all my life or I haven't got a girlfriend or anything like that. Because all God's creation and his people is against me in a violent, twisted way. So maybe I need to worship Lucifer. Maybe Lucifer will find me someone that doesn't moan about the age gap and can allow, make allowances for where I've been stopped from getting anyone in my whole life. I don't know. I didn't get it in time, but I'm being choked. <laughs> Tesco Valentine. Is that just a hint to say that it's going to be sunny tomorrow? Is it Downing Street? Or the Creator God? Well, and just to get with Tesco, because you probably don't understand what I'm saying. There's a cursed painting of a sexy lady in her early 20s with so uh, smooth skin. That looks like a Laura and that works in Tesco's. Where well, she's got her ha she's coming out of the clouds, her legs behind the clouds in this painting. And uh, she's opening her hand out as the sunshine on this person that's walking down the path. Who has a very similar face to my face from a side angle. But this person looks younger than me on that specific painting. Um, and... Uh, it's cloudy everywhere else in that painting, or rain, or the thunder and lightning striking the corner back of the picture, and a few sheds or whatever, or house, I can't remember what's on the picture, where they made that picture commercial and they put it on postcards. And since I saw that postcard in 2023 at Martok at Yandles, every single day basically has been sunny in the way of that curse, but the problem is they're violating me with that, with the sex curse of that painting, because she's making a sexual pose with her body when she's uh, doing the sun curse on this specific person walking down the path. This person that's walking down the path is wearing a backpack. Um, got a writing, a word pad in one hand, a torch in the other hand. Um, and obviously, with setups in late 2023, they were making the suggestion, no sex, uh, by someone that looks similar to this Lauren, to try and make it clear that you're not having sex, but we're gonna keep on cursing you with a sexy weather and sunshine. And then obviously this year, the beginning of this year, they decided to get nastier and to try to tell me that there was no law in them. The only sex you're having is someone that sexually abused you as a child. And uh, kept it, kept making it sunny and made it clear that's all you're getting. Right, so the spa shop is shut. I'm absolutely fucking fuming now. This means the only option left is to go to the garage. That's another two miles, so that's all right, I'll do that, Christ. But before that, uh, bow whistles, but uh, straight after I reach the spa shop, my willy is very high, Christ, it's extremely high. Yeah, my willy, Christ, my willy. My willy is up, Christ. You fucking twisted cunt. Right, so, basically my bell end tingles, and I get an, a, a, a slight erection, and then there's a bicycle that's being angled and twisted in my direction, and then on the path up me. Right, so basically I'm on the uh, West Cocoa Road, I'm just being choked out by a catalyst. There's no good God diverting me into directions that are fucking aimless. I'm getting pissed off of it, but there's nothing you can do about it. Believe it or not, there's a Gemma Ferguson lookalike on the opposite side of the road where I'm walking. There's no good Christ. Uh, whoever's causing this, they don't realise that uh, God's buckled and it's too late because I'm 43. Whatever you set up, Christ, is not going to happen, so that's why I've had to fall. That person has to turn around and photograph me, has to get someone to smash a fucking knife in me, to gun me dead, or to fucking cause shit. Well, I've got to go down here because the, the spa shop's shut. So, you know, it's the creator God's absolutely fucking c a cruel cunt. A sexual slaughter fucking ice axe in fucking tear apart. And a fire staking bastard that wants to burn me to fucking hell. Right, straight after that is a black sexual car. Uh, and the traffic increases, so I've had to go on the little road next to it, but that's only temporary, and I can't guarantee the garage is open. Quite literally, I'm almost in West Coca, so God wants me in West Coca because he's an evil bastard. I'm not in a fucking mood for this, I tell you. Just as God wants, 
stuck in the fucking traffic at me and choking me with a catalytic converter. Right, I mean, where's the knife shot, Christ? Where's that gun shot? Come on. Right, I'm on the main road now, again. About a quarter of a mile to that garage. I'm staying on this side of the road because God doesn't want me to cross. The garage is on the other side of the road, but God wants me on this side. All feet and blisters, I'll tell you what, I'm going to the town, Christ. And I will go to Weatherspoons. I'm looking forward to having a knife smash right in my fucking end, fucking beaten to fucking death. It's funny, Christ, he goes go, ha ha ha. Don't worry about it, Christ, and then you can park the guys in and I'm in the trial of my next life. Oh, you're just absolutely piss taken, aren't you tonight, you pal? You're absolutely a biscuit take, Christ, an absolute cruel cunt. Yeah, I'm happily coughed in the face. Doesn't matter, Christ. Just as I didn't think that my evening could get any worse, I had to pay £3.75 on top of what I usually pay for my alcohol, and I couldn't get beer. I had to get vodka. That's what's happening at the moment, because what's happening is the Creator God's fucking robbing me of all my money, but it happens at a time when I'm at the lowest point of money that I've had in my bank account for many years. Uh, it doesn't matter, does it? Just, just let, let the Creator God just fucking rob you and tear your fucking life apart. Right, my feet, feet are fucking sore, so I've got to sit down for a few minutes to cool them off. Right, what I was going to say, like, just now, <coughs> is, um, basically a seagull has basically said that I was supposed to be born, uh, mentally handicapped as a spastic in a wheelchair, not being able to move or speak. So, um, obviously the Creator God's, uh, getting nasty about it, so, just worth mentioning. Car revs knock you out, Justin, you pedo- uh, child molester, sorry. Can nothing you can do about it, the crate is absolutely fucking buckled to fuck. Right, the bottle was just spilt all over me, so I've had to got chocolate milkshake, have three quarters of chocolate, well, I drank it, but there's a little bit in the bottom, so uh, I, I, I've had to chuck it, yeah, so I tried burning it, and the, the plastic won't light, so if I get reported for fingerprints on a bottle that's been littered, blame the fucking creator, because that's a sly little nasty bastard that's stopping me fucking burn it to, so that I can, because I've got nowhere to put it, you see. My, literally, I can't carry it because it's, it's leaking, and obviously it won't burn, it just keeps on going out, so obviously, you know, the creator wants to play fucking nasty, so if I, uh, get arrested, I'll have to smash Jesus Christ to the fucking floor and knife him fucking down to the floor if he returns in my lifetime, because he's just an absolute fucking cold, ice, cruelty, fucking staking, fire, burning, <laughs> bastard, and it's not causing me to inhale flies, Christ, you fucking crooked bastard. That's all Jesus Christ is. One temperament bastard that uses his creation against you like a piece of fucking shit. As if you're the sickest fuck ever to fucking exist. Like the works of the fucking creator. Fucking God just absolutely fucking smash you to fucking pieces. Rip you to pieces. Sex slaughter the fucking guts out of you. Stop you getting sex all your life. Nail you as a sick cunt all your life. You're absolutely fucking twisted, Christ. You're diseased. Your creation's fucking cruelty and a fucking tear apart, Christ. You're absolutely fucking sick. You're cruel. You're a little bastard. You're the fucking creator's son. You're responsible for all this fucking malicious action. You cold ice cunt. When you take into account the price that I'm going to pay to go to where I went today, tomorrow, and the uh, being robbed of uh, the vodka because uh, it's a garage and the other place was shut and uh, all the other fucking problems, and also the loss of uh, it starts off with the loss payment of um, being scammed on the internet. So in the last um, couple of weeks or so, basically I've been scammed of three hundred pounds. Right, Christ. There's an ambulance time, so when I smashed out Christ, and you laugh in my face, and sex suck the guts in and out me as a child in my next life, and play about with me in a fireplace with poker sticks, and drink my fucking blood, Christ, it just shows how fucking cruel you are, you cunt. Ambulance time, yeah, you want me smashed out, after sexually sucking the guts in and out me as a child, and nailing me as a sick cunt when I've never had anyone in my whole life, and age 43 and told I, I got to go with a stale piece of shit, an old fucking wor used fucking woman, a zombie fucking face from the fire of hell. A, a woman that's a fucking single parent, you fucking cruelty cunt. Right, there's a setup to make the suggestion that we need your spine smashed up, your legs fucking crooked, and your arms fucking broken off, because we need to wheel you, you need to be in a wheelchair to wheel you into the record books for the worstest life ever, uh, for capital punishment. If you don't serve Jesus, you'll go to hell. Jesus is the one that'll be putting you in hell. These girls that have ratchet dreams, including, um, one Korean artist has made the suggestion, she's painting pictures of uh, 
me having sex with Stephanie Joe or Stephanie Hill when I've never had sex with her, and that the creator's punishing me with hell, and obviously with voice sounds from animals and setups of construction force of what the government is setting up or whoever's setting it up, also are saying the same thing. So obviously the creator's buckled, twisted, and not getting the facts right, and gonna punish me for something I've never done, because the bastard's cruel. Right, the next cruelty bastard thing that the creator does is, uh, there's another, um, YouTube video, a girl called Lily, and they name it Abba Up, A-B-B-A, -B -B Up, which is, um, a baby, a two-year-old baby, that says, just is going to hell. Because obviously God's turned against me. Justin's going to hell, yeah. The creator wants me fucking, t fucking torn to fucking pieces. I was born to be ripped to fucking part. Yeah, the creator's fucking absolutely malice. Doing it in a sneaky, disguisable way. And obviously, if you take into account all the voice sounds that occur, uh, negative things like nearly breaking my neck when I slipped on the bed, the first seagull sound of that specific day in the whole day all occur with ha ha ha's as I nearly break my neck. That's how fucking cruel the creator is. They're claiming, these religious people, that it's Satan the devil that's causing it or cursing the animal sounds. Where the type of things that are occurring makes it clear that it's creation that's doing it, not the, not Satan. This is like the works are against you. It's like the creator God's works are against you and being done in a malice, sneaky, disguisable, sly way. So, that's interesting. Right, someone says there's nobody left, you're going to get shot, Dad. But of course there is somebody left. There's a man that's going to rape the guts in and out of me as a child in my next life. And obviously I've been sexually abused and raped as a child in this life. That's it. That's all you get. In every life. And then obviously you stop from getting sex all your life, and you're nailed as a sick cunt all your life. So, there we are. That's the creator's works. Fucking evil bastard. Gonna rip him to pieces, and the bastard's being shot dead. And saying I'm molested a five, uh, five, some child um, of negative looking attraction, forced to divert because of a controlled um, in a van parked in the uh, public footpathway. <coughs> so I'm looking forward to uh, going up here for someone to smash a knife in my fucking face. Because obviously everybody's like this today, so you've got to be prepared to inject people with weed killer and rat poison, bleach, and you name it. That's not coward substance like AIDS or HIV or venom, but you know. Right, so my penis shoots up an itchy bum hole, roughly about 15 loud bikes to erections in the period of drinking vodka. As I listen to a music track, 10 times loud bike time to uh, when a music track ends and starts again. Same again as the track ends into the next track. Timed as I uh, go for a piss, uh, eight times loud bike. Ten times loud bike, time taking my headphones off um, while listening to music for a second. Same again, but nine times loud. Same again twice, but eight times loud. Um, time to itchy bum home. More loud bikes, more. Um, I've forgotten how many. There's more loud bikes. The bikes seem to be on that specific road I was on earlier. So that's uh, interesting. What's this fucking hunt, seek, fucking kill or something, is it? Hunt, seek, find, and kill. That's the what I'm looking for. And there's the name of a jungle track on a dance trance tape. It's on a Mickey Finn dance trance tape. And it's a load of crap, that tape. In actual fact, there's only one section of that tape I like. I bought it in an orange cover. And that subsequent, you're the one, which is the track that goes, you're the one, you're the one, you're the one, giving me my good vibration, you're the one. And there goes jungle. I just want to mention this is the first night where I've had three vodka shots and I feel sober. That doesn't usually occur. You usually get like tipsy or something. So obviously, drinking a lot lately. I'm going to have to go back to bears. I do have more vodka. I have a lot of vodka. But it's not intentionally to be drank. 
because I'm going through some serious times at the moment. You know, I've been buying more. Right, so I'm going to break in. Break in. Uh, I think Michael Jackson prostitutes uh, basically try and listen to music at the same time as we're having to people. These fucking snappy little bastards are starting. And I want to fight as well, so you've got to be fair to cut fucking wrist and throat because that's how fights work in dry and sarcastic, stirred and fucking malicious, fucking sly, sexual slaughter, sort of fucking terror apart people, Christ people. You raped Matthew, said in two, uh, 2003. That's not true. Um, in actual fact, I don't know any. Well, there's two people I know called Matthew, and one's my cousin, and one's uh, someone I went to Yeovil College. However, he wasn't a friend as such, he's just someone I know by name that visited that college in 1996 area. Otherwise I don't know anyone else under that name, apart from the neighbour who went and who knifed the staff off his door in on the 2nd of May this year before getting evicted. Obviously I won't say the surname because uh, that's breaking regulations and rules. But uh, that's it, that's it. I don't know anyone else under that name. Right, Night Attack Van. <coughs> that's Night Attack Van. Do you understand, Van? Dark red car, another one. Here comes the knife van. A red, white car, red, red and white car van, sorry. And laughing armchair van in a boastful, pleased, cheering way. Breaking in, don't give a fuck, molest his Sadie said. Sick gun, Justin, you're getting a break in, said. Um, I've just downloaded some digital software to try and extract that picture that I took. It looks like I'm going to have to chuck four pounds away just to get a picture that I wanted to take a picture of and do what I wanted to do. Because the creator god's fucking fucked up. It quite literally, you can't get a picture, it won't extract it off of there. Just fallen. Fucking cunt's fallen. The bastard's taking the piss out of me, so there's nothing I can do about it. Quite literally. Every picture's not displayable. The bastard's fucking cut my fucking wrist. The bastard's fucking cold. Oh, cold as fucking ice and burning the sacrifice. The creator god's just absolutely fucking sly. Breaking in, Josh Child Rapist, but there's nothing you can do about it. The creator's buckled. You can't recover these pictures. Because they're fucking buckled, Christ, you fucking twisted cunt. Hi, Justin, you raped uh, Wayne. We're going back to the Wayne business, the, what was stated in the earliest of all the fucking deep depression life story packs that I ever fucking stated. Apart from the uh, initial hard evidence that God doesn't exist sheets. Justin, you're having a break in. You're having your eyes fucking burnt out. You won't. You raped. Well, I'm being told I raped a person who, who raped me as a child, but has the same name. Sick cunt, this is getting nastier and nastier, just said. You're being knifed. Well, this is the problem. This is why you've got to cut these people's fucking wrists and fucking throat when they fucking start a fight. Immediately. Dead. Getting knifed, dead, said. But that's right, and then Jesus Christ is going to rape the fuck in and out of me as a child in my next life. That's what people need. They need me dead. Christ's people. So that Jesus can fuck around with me as a little baby and sex suck the guts in and out of me as a child through adults before ripping me to pieces and nailing me as a sick cunt stopping me get sex when I'm innocent and have never had sex with children or never had sex with a woman in my next life either. 